Hey everyone, welcome to the Wargaming Parrot. I'm David and today I'm going to do an unboxing video. Now, normally Sophie likes to do these because she does most of the orders and I just give her a bit of money. But I thought for a bit of variety on my channel, I'll do one. So I did a nice big order from Scarlet's Parrot Essentials because they have a lot of variety of toys and all sorts of bits and pieces. And I thought I'd show you the sort of bits I got. The other good thing is they're very cheap, so you can sort of try things out. We normally order a lot of our parrot supplies from Northern Parrots because we think they're awesome. But just once in a while we like to mix it up and just see what other suppliers have to offer. So in this case we went with Scarlet's. So I'm just going to show you the bits and pieces we picked up and see if any of the ones might inspire some ideas in you and see what we're going to do with them. So here we have our box toy haul, lots of goodies in there. So I'm just going to pop this box to one side and start showing you the bits and pieces that we picked up. So first up, I picked up some of these Sky Pet Products Java Wood Java Twisters. I bought a couple because I thought um, both the boys and the Conyers might enjoy them. So you've got this nice hard bit of Java Wood in the middle which isn't ideal for um, small birds. However, you do have these nice soft wood bits attached to it. So while the middle bit isn't really chewable for a small bird, all the other bits are, and I could see them really having a good crack at these and enjoying them. This this next toy I picked up on sale because it's only a couple of pounds, and it's um, by Wagner's Premium Pet Products, and it's just leather bone fun. We don't normally buy leather toys. This is actually safe leather as well. We double checked, but I thought for the price it was worth giving a go. You've got these nice little leather creamy bits at the bottom. You have chewable bits here and here, and as I said, for the price, if they don't really like it it's not really a big deal. You can pull it apart or just bin it. Um, I think for a larger parrot, this would be really good because they can really get their beak stuck into it and just chew it to their heart's content. This is another Sky Pet Products doody. It's, um, they call it Adventure Bound Toys, but it's the remote. Now, our boys absolutely love these, so we keep buying them. Um, you've got lovely bits of chewable, safe coloured cork in here. They love just ripping them up and chewing them. For a larger bird, it may not be very useful, but for a small birds, it's absolutely awesome. And we just keep buying them because they're so good. And also, I mean, birds love to chew remotes, so the shape is perfect. Next up, I bought this bamboo ladder. Um, it's another Sky product because um, Sky still a lot of Sky products. Um, with Sky, there's a lot of great things, but it's some that are slightly less safe like plastic things, but there's an awful lot of good things they do. So this is another horrendously cheap item. It's just a ladder made out of bamboo, and I thought it'd be quite interesting because it's nice textured on the sides. So sometimes the conyers especially like to crawl up the sides rather than going directly up the, the um, middle bit. So it's just something a bit more interesting. And for the, again, for the price, why not give it a go? Next up, I'm not going to unpackage these, are like woven ball popsicles. Again, another Sky Pet Products thing. Um, I like these because not only do they have like the woven balls that the birds like to throw around, they have these little lolly sticks that again they like to chew. So it kind of gives the best of both worlds. Also, I can hold a lolly stick and have them safely chew the end bit because Olive is still a bit funny of her biting. So this is one of those safe toys I can interact with her and start training her to play with toys. Um, again, if they don't like one bit, I can just pull off the balls and use them and use the lollipop stick separately. So it's kind of very useful all around toy. Next up, not actually sure what the name is. Um, another Sky Prep Products one, lots of them in there. It's not sponsored or anything. We just thought we'd try a load of them out for a change. Now this toy is a mixed bag. You see, bottom it's got a bell. We do not like bells. We do not recommend them. So that's coming straight off. It's also got a bit of plastic on it, which we'll pull off, but it's got these lovely chewable cardboard bits and also some woven bits. And I can just really see all of our birds getting stuck into that. Again, because of the price, it was well worth a go. And it's just the size of it. This will take a while for them to destroy. So they, as you can see here, they can get their beak stuck into that. They can chew that and can also push little seed treats in between these little gaps here, which is great for foraging. So overall, even though it's got some sort of negatives to this toy, I thought it was a very good buy. Here we have the Sombrero Small. I like the name, and again, it's another sort of interesting uh, take on toys. Luckily, there's no unsafe bits, although there is a metal ring at the bottom, which you can attach things to. Um, this is something I may remove, depending on what me and Sophie discuss. But what I liked about this one is you have this sort of sombrero platform at the bottom. You could put um, treats on there. You could have them just sort of like climb around. There's something they can chew. There's little leather um, tassels they can chew on which are attaching the beads. Again, the beads aren't really chewable, but they add a little sort of bit of fun and they can sort of forage around them and climb on them. 
Yeah, I mean, I just generally thought this was a, a great one to give a try. And again, as I keep saying, for the price, you can just try all these toys. And if they don't like them, you can just pull them apart and make your own, you know. So there's so many sort of good aspects to these um, more budget toys, as long as you are careful of looking at what materials they're made out of. Next up, we have a little percher. Now, I bought this because I thought it'd be something nice to have on my desk for the birds to play around in the perch. Again, there's lots of bells here, so they'll be coming straight off. We won't be leaving them on. Also, I'll probably take these D-rings. The little plastic um, discs, I may actually leave on because they could be fun for them to move around, especially as it's only going to be supervised play. Um, one thing I've noticed is one segment has some glue on it. So if you were to purchase this, be aware of that. It's something I'm probably going to clean off and scrape off because I don't want the birds anywhere near it. But overall, for something that cost me £4 and something to have on my desk, I thought this was a very good buy and, you know, it's quite reasonably sizable. Also notice, because some, most of these aren't glued in, I can just pull out some of these perches, which will allow me to adjust it and have it um, and see what the birds actually like, where they want a perch with a top, bottom, etc. Next up, we have a Chiquito trio bird kebab sophie likes to buy these in sort of like singles but i thought just to change things up i'd buy it as a triple because i thought it might be interesting to have like three spokes of it now this this stuff is absolutely amazing our birds love chewing through it it's just so soft it's so fun and it's just one of those things that um small parrots love to enjoy and yeah ever since sophie sort of bought the first one we keep buying them in various forms because the birds enjoy them so much and it's just sort of a must buy every time we do an order from anywhere really. So it's an awesome toy. Um, here we have a sisal or sisal, as Sophie says, a uh, double ring. Again, this was on sale, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's very big, so it's definitely something we're gonna put in the bird's cages. But because it's from natural material, and because of its size, I thought it might be something cool to have outside the cage, or hanging somewhere, and I thought it was just something we could give it a go. Worst comes to worst, it can even go on the floor, and they can sort of forage in between it and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's something I'd imagine would be much better for a medium to large parrot, but it's something I wanted to give a go because I like to experiment a little bit. So here we have a Hagen Harry Rustic Treasure. Now, we love these Hagen Harry Planet, Pleasure, Pla Planet Pleasures toys, I'll get that out, because they're all natural material, you know, they're generally reliable and high quality. Also, with these toys, everything's chewable. So you may have noticed with the Sky Pet Products toys, there's a lot of bits that the parrots can't chew. And while overall for the budget range, they're awesome and they're quite good to get a bit of variety for our toys. These ones are ones we're almost guaranteed for the parrots to use. You can see there's these like little nut things at the bottom. You've got this preening material, natural preening material on the sides, and then you've got this woven material in the middle. So I, I'm pretty certain that all of our parrots are going to destroy these, and I'm really glad I bought this because I think it's going to be a big hit with them. Also bought another Sky Pet Products. This has got a very cool name called Fire Dancer. Um, I like this because, like I was talking about the Hay and the Harry, it has much more natural chewable materials on it than some of the others. There's these like natural wooden logs on here, all sort of sisal rope. Um, you've got these little chewable bits here and then you've got these woven materials so this is a very very cheap small toy and I thought for the price this would be good and I think out of the Sky Pet Products toys we bought this is probably going to be a big hit with the birds there's nothing I have to remove I put it straight in once it's been cleaned and I think all of them would enjoy it uh, you may be wondering have we got much more not too much more there's plenty we, when we order we tend to order big to get the um, free shipping so I'm not actually sure who this is made by, but I thought it was quite cool. It's hardwood all around, but what I thought would be cool about this is these little holes. So I could potentially stick little perches through these, um, little dowel perches if I scored them up so they're better for the bird's feet, or I could hide treats in there. And especially for the conyers, I thought it might be fun. Again, it's a bit of an experimental toy because of the budget, but um, I thought I might as well give it a go. Here we have a Java fruit cup. Now I bought this not to put fruit jellies in because I don't like them, Sophie doesn't really like them, but I thought it'd be really cool to either attach inside the cage or off to one side and hide foraging treats in. You could even, I could even stuff it with um, like shredded paper and stuff and have a few treats like intermittently in there and it'll give them something fun to forage in. Um, this was a little bit more expensive at six pounds, but I thought it's just cool, in, in, if anything else, if nothing else, it can just be a perch for them and they can just sit on it and something different to exercise their feet and um, move around on. I don't normally buy plastic toys. If I do, they tend to be for outside the cage, but I thought this looked like fun. 
So it's another Sky Pet products. Uh, most of the more ones I bought were because I wanted to experiment. Where Sophie tends to stick to certain brands, I wanted to sort of give us a bit more variety. Um, I'm not sure what even this is called, but it's like a Ferris wheel. This is something I would not put in their cage. To be perfectly honest, it's like plastic and it looks a bit flimsy. But as a training toy outside the cage, I think it'd be really fun. Chip loves putting things into little receptacles, so be be nice to train him to put things and it turns and turns around. And I think it'd be a fun toy, a learning toy for him. Also, it could be fun for the conyers. You can have little treats in there and they can try and find it while they're out and about playing with us. So again. Um, while I wouldn't recommend plastic in the cage, this sort of toy is awesome for outside the cage. Also got some of these Westco Bird Kebab Yucca Chips. Now I talked about uh, Bird Kebab materials and how easily chewable it was with the previous kebab. So Pickles absolutely loves these. We put them at the base of her cage and she just, she just destroys it within a day. But it's so much fun for her and because of the budget and you get so many of them, they're really enjoyable. The great thing about these is you could make your own toy out of them. You could literally poke a hole through there or drill a little hole and put a string through it and it's just it's just a great little toy and it's lots of fun for them we picked up some maze mats we actually used them to dissuade the birds from landing on certain parts of the curtain pole but we bought these because they actually like chewing them as well and sophie intends to be making toys out of them so i won't say too much about that because i'm sure she'll be making a video on it but these are quite cool because they're very chewable, not overly expensive and quite large. You can do all sorts of things with them, you can use them for foraging and all sorts of things. So I just thought they were really cool to pick up. As with all bird orders, it would be rude not to buy some food. We buy Harrison's or Tops as our pellet brands because we think they're the best ones, the best ingredients. If you want to know more about pellets and what you should give your uh, bird pellet wise, Sophie has a video which I'll leave a card for now. But yeah, we do like Harrison's and we do like Tops. So generally when we do pick do a big order, we add some of this on because it's just a really good all round pellet. Finally, um, you guys, I don't know if, how many of you guys have stuck with it to the end of this video, but thank you if you have. We picked up some Nutri Berries. Now these are a great treat, they're by Le Fabers, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, we thought Sophie normally picks them up. They're very good. Um, which ones did we pick up this time? Um, these are with papaya and fruit because the conyers, <laughs> Sophie's just laughing at me in the background, so I'm gonna try and keep my focus. They're with fruit, so the conyers really enjoy it. The cockatiels also enjoy it. Um, it does say it's a complete diet, but this is really a sort of treat and something you'd add into their bowl rather than just giving them on its own. It pairs really well with like our, all the fruits and the little bit of seed and healthy seed and sprouts and all the other things we give them to give them a bit of variety. It's something they often throw on the floor and then go down to forage for. So we really like these and we do keep picking them up. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video on this rather large um, toy haul. I hope maybe gave you some ideas of things you can pick up. Um, there are all sorts of toys out there. Just make sure when you're buying them, you keep an eye on what they're made out of and where what your parrot prefers. I have a video on toys, which I'll leave a card for now, just in case you're interested. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Any comments, any suggestions for cool toys, um, great. it'll be great to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Take care and have a great day.